it's Robin and welcome to my monthly must-haves video where I recommend a bunch of awesome stuff that you should check out for the month of January. So let's go ahead and get started. My first recommendation is that you keep a jar journal for 2013. I made a video about this on my main channel and I'm going to be doing this as well. What this is is you get a jar and then every day in 2013 you take a slip of paper and you write down on it something that happened to you that day, something you want to remember. And you put that scrap of paper into your jar and you do that every night. And then at the end of the year, you have an entire jar filled with memories. So let me know in the comments if you're going to keep a jar journal. I think it's such a cool plan and I can't wait to like do my first entry tonight. My first makeup must-have are these two Revlon nail polishes. These are in Whimsical and Scandalous, and they are such gorgeous glitter shades. I read somewhere that these are dupes for far more expensive Deborah Lippmann nail polishes, and they are so pretty. My next makeup must-have is a mascara. It is the Falsies Volume Express from Maybelline. Is that what it's called? Yes, the Falsies Volume Express. Oh, I totally got that right. I had previously been using a far more expensive Bare Essentials mascara, and I checked this out because I saw a lot of beauty gurus using it in makeup tutorials, and I was so impressed. It's only about five or six dollars, and I like it more than I like my more expensive mascara, so I think I am a recent convert to this one, and I might stay converted as well. My last makeup must-have are these CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Gloss Pencils. These are really similar to those awesome Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. They're a bit more sheer and a bit more hydrating, but I really, really like these. They have great staying power. I think they're eight or nine dollars at the drugstore and they are so good. They came out recently and I saw this display and I'm like, what are those? Oh my gosh, they look cool. And then I bought them and I got them home and I have been wearing them nonstop. Moving on from makeup, Here's a book. It is Jasper Ford's The Last Dragon Slayer. I am such a fan of Jasper Ford, and I was so excited that he did his first young adult slash middle grade series. If you haven't read Jasper Ford before, he wrote The Air Affair, which was this series of books about a literary detective named Thursday Next who polices characters in books. They are so good, and he is just this like fabulously clever, like quirky British writer, very similar to Douglas Adams. This series is about a girl named Jennifer Strange, who is an orphan raised by the Lady of the Lobster Convent, who has gone on to become an indentured servant, where she manages a bunch of wizards at a wizarding agency. And there is a dragon, and she has a pet quark beast, and it's part Labrador, part Velociraptor, and part Blender. So if you like quirky wizardy books, definitely check this one out. My next recommendation is Nutella Hot Chocolate. It helps if you have an awesome mug. I have an awesome mug. It has a Dalek on it, and it says caffeinate. How you make Nutella Hot Chocolate is you put some milk in a saucepan on the stove, and you take some scoops of Nutella, depending on how Nutella-y you want your milk, and you stir it in. And then when it's warm, you pour it into a mug and you enjoy it. And it's Nutella hot chocolate. It tastes like liquid Nutella. Something for you to watch. The Fades is on Amazon Instant Video right now. It is a BBC show and it's sort of a horror zombie superhero show, but it's so funny and so well written and so creepy. Also, I recently came across this TARDIS apron on Etsy. What even is this? I can't handle how cute it is. I think I need to own it. I know it's expensive. But yeah, if you're looking for things to spend your Christmas money on, you probably can't go wrong with a TARDIS apron. Also, I made you guys a Spotify playlist. It's there in the down bar. You can check it out. It's full of really awesome, inspiring music for 2013. So leave me your recommendations for the month of January in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye!